You show Phil with me not in it, let me talk. <laughs> so what happens is, I didn't have a child, and you're right, I didn't like children. If I got on a tube and a child was there, I'd get in another carry. I didn't like them, I didn't like the noise they made, I didn't like the smell of them, I had nothing to do with them. Children and dogs, me, no. <laughs> nothing to do with me. So that, that was my life, yeah? And then, of course, when you, you get cancer, you think, oh, I might not. Once the choice is taken away from you, you think, actually, maybe, you know. So what happens is they, they take your sperm and they, they put it in a tube. Uh, we didn't take it. <laughs> so what happens is before you go for the chemo, you have to go in to a hospital and you go into a room, they put magazines out, they put oh, yeah. whatever, and you have a little tub. Yeah? yeah? So my, my wife went to every appointment with me. What, 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 what type of magazine? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of lady, the big small, what kind of, what kind of woman you have to talk to? <laughs> you want to give us an insight of what kind of woman you like? It doesn't matter. White, black, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. How, well, how long do I take it? I'm going to take it. How much come out? Did you know? <laughs> Just go ready and you turn the page and then you see like an advert for you know, like children in Africa or something like that. I, I, I masturbated to your girl. Oh! standing up sleeping and his toupee was shifting <laughs> and you know I'm talking about a rush hour tube and, and my friend across from me in the seat across from me he's good at just looking at me don't laugh but I'm now laughing cracking up in front of all of these people and my friend just looked at me like and goes no <laughs> that's the I'm, I've got that in me and, and I wanted to bring it out so I wanted to create a character and what Mr. Fraser represents he is he is in all of our families He's the uncle, somewhere. Yeah, he is. I've never seen him in my family. Tell us the time when, because um, you had dreadlocks. Yes, sir. Yes, you had them And who took the dreadlocks off? My mum did. My mum did. Yes. Yeah, she, we, we used to. <laughs> so you've been doing some research, bro. <laughs> you know, like, I've known him for a few years and I never knew he was that sneaky. Hey, <laughs> Yeah, that's good, that's good. As a young person coming into this country, growing up in Jamaica, I knew nothing about racism. I never experienced it. My uncle, who I was left with when my mother and father came over here to, to start this new life, my uncle was the third secretary to the prime minister in Jamaica. He is the longest serving MP in Jamaican history. His name is Arthur Jones. He was the mayor of Kingston, Jamaica. I was raised to believe that I could accomplish anything. And then all of a sudden, I fly over here on BOAC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me and my little brother. My brother is here. Where is my brother? Do you know what BOAC is? Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was... You're 21. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was British Airways uh, before they became British. Where's my brother? Where's my brother Over here? Yeah, where is he? Paul, stand where's, up. Where's Paul? Where's Paul? Paul, where's Paul, show yourself. Stand up, Paul, and stop being yeah, stand really up, shy. Give, him, give my brother yeah. a Uh, from Jamaica via New York to the UK. And when I came here, I was, it was a real shell shock. I mean, everything was a shock. The houses all stuck together. They literally looked like factories, because we, we used to live in a big house with a big garden. Our garden made this little look smart. You know, that's what we were used to. So then when we came over here, and then all of a sudden, we weren't allowed to go to the shops because the people wouldn't understand our accents, and then we started to hear about racism, teddy boys, and yeah, yeah, yeah. and all this kind of stuff, and my dad had been chased by these guys who took coins between their knuckles. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm glad I didn't have 